Islands. I'm not sure if it's up or down river. That's still something I'm trying to learn. But we were in the Dallas. Now we're headed up towards Portland. We stopped up here on the side of the freeway. So if you can hear those cars, that's what that is. Uh, we caught a bunch of shakers down there, seven to be exact. So I moved up a little. Hopefully we can catch something bigger. So uh, let's see what this location brings us, guys. This is the first cast at the new location. Let's see what we get. All right, guys, I got a bite already, but not good. It is not good. It's another small one. Here he is. Uh, it's not what we're looking for. This is why we left the other location, but a bite's a bite, I guess. So let's go ahead and get him on this release. And again, hope for something bigger on the next one. Alright guys, hooks out. Let me just turn him around so he can get on out of here. Come on guy. Free to go. So for those of you guys who don't know, sturgeon bites are little. They don't pick up their bait and just start swimming away and pulling line. You gotta set the hook. So if you look at the rod now, how it's moving side to side, that's a little confusing sometimes, but that's just when, when they're bobbing, that means you got something. It's gonna go up and down, just barely, little tap, little tap. And once you set that hook, you start reeling because since they're barbless they can pop off pretty easy but yeah so just watch for that little bob bob sometimes if you get a bigger one it'll smack down but for the most part they're just little little taps little taps and that's when you want to grab it and set your hook so there's nothing going on right now but stay tuned okay okay guys Got a bite, guys. all right guys so we had a very successful day i've caught a total of nine yeah that's right nine sturgeon see we call them shakers when they're just baby ones i'm not sure if that's the term worldwide but we call them shakers out here i didn't catch anything close to what i wanted to in size but i did go to the dam got a couple videos and some pictures for you guys to look at to see what we were after
Welcome to Bonneville Hatchery Sturgeon Center. In this pond, there are rainbow trout and white sturgeon. The largest one is Herman. Herman is approximately 10 feet long, 500 pounds, and 80 years old. The white sturgeon is the largest freshwater fish species in North America and can reach lengths of almost 20 feet, can weigh up to 1,000 pounds, and they may live well over 100 years. These sturgeon came from the Columbia River in 1998 when the Sturgeon Center was constructed. And there you have it guys, a little history on our sturgeon right here. Herman, but they got a couple other big ones in here now. It used to only be two, I believe. This is what we were after today, but I guess you guys can see them here at our hatchery. I mean, look how huge that one is. Successful day, guys. So continue to follow us, like us, subscribe to our channel, and we're going to keep putting content out for you guys. The more we learn, the more we put out. And I think uh, Head Honcho and myself are going to get together this weekend and put together a little package for a giveaway for the 50th follower. Not for the 50th follower, but on the 50th follower. And I think uh, we're going to continue this every 50th follower we get. We're going to do one of those random generators and give away something that either worked for us or people are liking out there or new product or just random stuff, guys. But we're going to be giving some stuff out every 50th follower. So come to our page, follow us, like us, subscribe. Thank you, guys. One cast, one catch, out.